Yeah, so I'm going to be fighting uh, December 7th in Washington, D.C. against Matt Wyman. I have a ton of respect for, for Matt Wyman. You know, I've watched him since I was a kid. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fight fan, you know, outside of just competing. So um watched all the Ultimate Fighters and stuff when I was a kid. And, uh, you know, I definitely was rooting for him on that season because he, like, had a ground game. And I was a jiu-jitsu guy at the time. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's looked, he's looked good, you know, in, in a lot of his fights. I've watched most of his fights from his prime. And, um not that he's not in his prime now, but, you know, uh, the Pena fight was a little different. It didn't go his way. But, you know, I can't watch that fight and judge him off of that because Pena's long. Pena's a southpaw, good wrestler, uh, good striking. So that range might have thrown him off or it was his first fight back. So I'm preparing for Matt Wyman, you know, a better version of him from even 10 years ago. So uh, we're ready for him everywhere, but I have a ton of respect for him. And I know it's not going to be an easy night. I think it's going to be a great fight. You know, I think uh, his toughness, his durability and his ability to come forward – always makes it exciting an exciting fight. Um, but, you know, I'm a grappler by nature. He's had a lot of grappling in his fights, a lot of submission wins. So we will end up on the floor at some point, I'm sure. And uh, I really think that's where I can show just how different I am than everybody else in this division once it hits the floor. I started jiu-jitsu uh, when I was six years old. So, uh, yeah, 20 years in September it was. With competition, I had over 300 matches. So I've been on the mat with a lot of the top guys Um Maybe not from the last two or three years, but up until 2015, I was competing in the biggest tournaments I could. I have had matches with guys like Eric Tolman and Mantra Kira and, you know, some really high level uh, competitors. So I've been able to see what the highest level of the sport looks like, whereas maybe some of my opponents in MMA, you know, they've seen really high level guys. but They never fought Khabib or they never fought the best guy in the world at their sport. So I've at least had the experiences of, you know, grappling some of the very best on earth and, um, seeing what that feels like, seeing that I can hang and uh, growing confidence from that. The other good thing about it is I think when I started MMA, even as an amateur, I was being put in there, thrown to the wolves with really good pros just because of my grappling. So um, I just think it's going to be hard to put me out of my comfort zone because I'm comfortable everywhere, taking a lot of beatings because I was thrown to the wolves so early. And, uh, you know, I really do think it benefited me. It gives me confidence. But I'm excited, man. I, I visualized this walk since I was 10 years old. I, you know, I used to be on the school bus with my earbuds in and when they could actually fit. And, uh, you know, thinking about what song I'd walk out to and picturing it, you know. Uh, so, you know, it's a dream come true. And now it's on to the next dream, which is, you know, staying here, winning, top 15, world champion one day. You know, I have all these big goals for myself. Um, but none of it happens if I don't go out there and do what I, what I know I can do uh, next Saturday, you know, two Saturdays from now. Man, they would write back all the time. It's amazing. I have, still have, I have a binder uh, with, like, pl plastic sleeves covering. The, I got autographed pictures from the first one I ever got was Tito Ortiz. Uh, I'll never forget, man, because I wrote it, like, months ahead of time. And uh, I was off from school. I lived in New Jersey. It snowed a lot. So it was a snow day. And I came in, and we had mail. And I opened up. I was so pumped. Uh, Tito Ortiz, Frank Shamrock, Randy Couture, uh, BJ Penn, Henzo Gracie. Oh, man, so many. Andre Arlowski. It's kind of wild. Uh, a bunch of the Gracies. I have a signed picture of uh, – I actually gave it to a student of mine, one of my kids' students a couple years ago. But a signed picture of Elio Gracie before he passed. Um, voice grace so many different ones man it was really cool i'm a really big like fight fan like i said like history buff of the sport and uh i don't really, i don't know that i wanted to be here i don't know if i thought i'd be here because i wasn't very good as a kid so i was just soaking in being a fan back then and it was really cool man that people would make time to mail back an autograph picture and personalize it a lot of times and uh hopefully i do as well as i want to in the sport and then i can get back to people like that too